Hi, this is Philip, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to boost Hurricane 3 Neos. Okay, so uh, I'll probably do a tutorial on Dignix and harder uh, spring sponge rubbers later, but right now we're gonna focus on the Hurricane 3 Neo. So the reason I say Hurricane 3 Neo, just not all Hurricane 3s, is you really want the Neo version because this is meant to be boosted by regular boosters, uh, the VOC free, free ones. Right, because normally the VOC ones are banned and they smell really bad. Um, right, so I'm mean, gonna use Haifu Black, the proper go to uh booster for Chinese national team. And today we're gonna boost a let's see 4.1, I mean 41 degrees, uh, 2.1 millimeter. All Chinese national team uses 2.1 millimeter, uh, Hurricane 3 Neo National. This is gonna be one of my best yo yo friends. Uh, Shu Yang's table tennis blade. It will go on the Scaria with deal five on the back end. Okay, so first you open it, of course. Um, right, so there's bunch of versions of Hurricane Threes. Normally there are normally two: the Neo version and non-Neo version. Uh, the Neo version, it's uh, just please buy the Neo version unless you're using VOC uh, boosters. Then get the the one with the white shell, um, but other than that, you just get a new version. Okay, <clears throat> so when you open it, you're gonna see the back backside package is wrapped up in this white sheet uh, of plastic, and uh, yeah, right. So we're gonna take this off. You're gonna see numbers: uh, two point one millimeter sponge, four point. 41 degrees hardness, uh, right, and then you go on with your business. So, first thing you do is when you're boosting a lot, which my friend requested, he wanted to like, you know, have a lot of power and have a lot of booster into this. So the sponge will, you know, dome very hard like this, right? So what I do is I take this plastic off, right? So someone would be like, oh, Hurricane 3 is sticky and you might have dirt on your hand, and you might have handprints on this. So what you can do, it's very simple. You just grab a roll of paper towels, right? Get two sheet, lay it down, right? This is just like a hack, right? Usually you just do this, but. Uh, so yeah, you take this off, you take this plastic sheet off. If you're boosting really hard, which we will in this video, this video will be like in a span of three days probably. That's how long. Uh, this will the boosting takes, right? And you just lay it, lay it on this sheet of uh, paper towel, so this thing won't get dirty. And you can't really like get the booster or glue behind this onto the uh, the rubber itself. All right, so let's go. So I am just literally copy pasting what Ian Han does. He's a former Chinese national team, and he did all this in bitty bitty. And he went through all the, told you all the steps. So what you do is, firstly, you do one layer, right? One medium layer. So, uh, got to really have, after you do a couple times, you kind of know how much you need, right? Not too much. Okay, and grab it like this with your hand, your left hand, and then spread it accordingly, right? Like this. This um, does smell a little bit. It smells kind of like a sweet but weird smell. I can't really smell anything right now because I'm sick and my senses is not in 100% uh, right now. But anyway, so you want to spread it more evenly. You want to go a little, down a little harder like this and just go back and forth like this, right? Make sure you spread it evenly. I have a light source over here, so I can see the oil is spreading very, very evenly. So usually, I will boost, I will do this process twice, and then two layer, two to three layers of glue, and then do it one more time, right? So this is the first step. I'm going to go around one more time for the culture. Oh, God. Get the edges even. Uh, this is my, one of my best yo-yo friends, so taking this very seriously. 
All right, so this is very even. Put this back, and now we wait. So you can wait from uh, two hours. Usually you can wait two hours and apply the second one. It domes and dries up pretty fast. Uh, but I'm going to bed. So tomorrow morning or tomorrow noon, whatever, when I wake up, I will apply the second layer. But usually after the first layer, you can wait two hours only and then go for the second layer. All right, I will see you soon. All right, so now it's the next day. You can see the rubber is a little bit domed. Uh, so now we're gonna apply the second layer. I'm gonna do a little bit generous. I think the first layer was a uh, little, not that much. So, and my friend wanted a lot of booster into this thing. So I'm gonna give a generous amount and uh, hold it up like this and then just brush onto the sponge. This is the new version, so this is meant for using VOC free boosters. I already have a pre-applied layer of, I won't say glue, but it's like a more of a base. So you can apply booster directly without damaging the sponge. Um, so yeah, uh, if you wanted to like really boost the rubber and be efficient, I don't recommend like when boosting, putting more glue on it immediately. I'll do it later. I'll show you uh, later down. Uh, on how to boost because we got one more layer to go after this usually i do three layers if my friend requests it to be boosted a lot so yeah go a little bit hard into the sponge yeah so i'll put a generous amount i really want this to be domed uh even after the second layer so right so after the second layer i'll wait around 12 hours to 24 hours the second layer is when this rubber will really dome up um, yeah, since I have a paper towel on there, I don't have to be super careful because I'm not going to damage and accidentally brushed on the rubber part of this uh, Hurricane 3. All right, so see you guys in 12 hours to 24 hours, probably the next day. All right, so now this is the next day. You can see this is a decent dome, decent dome, and uh so yeah, now we're going to have two layers of glue be putting on this. Uh, the reason is after this two to three layers of glue, I'm going to do two here. Um, we're going to do another layer of booster. Um, the reason for that is it will prolong how long the uh, booster, the boosting effect will last on this uh, rubber. So you can see like, uh, the surface is still a little bit wet. I waited like actually one half day. Uh, it actually reversed dome a little bit. Um, it was like even more uh, domed, but uh, I dropped a little bit. But yeah, but so the point is, you like here you just keep brushing, right? You keep brushing until the glue is evenly spread. Uh, this happens, but once this layer of glue dry, then everything is dry. So um, yeah, so you just keep going. Uh, don't leave it like this because the glue is not evenly put on. Yeah, and two layers of this and then another layer of booster. So yeah, I'm just going to do my thing here. Once again, uh, nail layer itself, it's like kind of a base layer already. So you can directly boost it with Haifu Black or Haifu Yellow, whatever you use. I recommend Haifu Black. Um, so yeah, just keep going, keep going, keep going. So after you spread the glue very, very evenly, um, you wait at least 30 minutes, right? Take your time, be patient. Um, I'm, I usually don't use a hairdryer, so I just let it naturally dry for 30 minutes. Um, I would just like, you know, go eat or work or, you know, write stuff, do my thing and just forget about it. And after 32 minutes, I'll come back and then put on the more layers later. Okay. So yeah, right now, this is pretty even. The glue I'm using is Revolution 3. Um, this this glue layer is pretty thin, so um, you can be generous with the amount of glue you put on, and uh, 
you can also be generous on how many layers you put on. If you use something like thicker, like Nataku Fine Zip or DHS 15, you can use less glue. All right, so 30 minutes later, I will see you guys later. All right, it's been like 40 minutes, so now I'm gonna put a second layer on this Hurricane 3 before I put another layer of Hypho Black on it. Okay, so let's do this fast. Um, be generous with the amount of glue you put in. you rather have more than less, right? And if you have more, it's easier to take it off. Uh, it becomes like a film, and uh, yeah, it, it doesn't like crumple. It doesn't, will have like el elasticity, and it's easier to take it off. Uh, if you were want to reboost or put on another blade or whatever you do. Okay, so yeah, this is the second layer. Just want to brush this really fast. The entire process of boosting a Hurricane 3 takes like three to four days. Um, probably takes like one and a half if you don't boost too much. Maybe if you do like two thin layers, it'll take like a day and a half, maybe less. But um, yeah, I'm going all the way right now. So probably at least three days, right? You gotta be patient and uh, you can't rush things. So this is uh, spread pretty evenly. Right, and uh, yeah, so after about 30-ish minutes, uh, time for another layer of Hypho Black, and we're pretty much done. And then I'm gonna show you guys the result, and then it's ready to put on a blade. Peace. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes, so final layer of booster, and then I'm gonna show you the result after, uh, after it dries. So that will probably take like 12 to 24 hours again. Um, yeah, so after this final layer, make sure it completely dries and it doesn't dome super much anymore, right? If it domes super much anymore, uh, unless you sand your paddle really, really well with 400 grit sandpaper, which what I do, it's not recommended to put it on right away because it might come off the blade. I will have a full blade assembly video of this Hurricane 3 uh, National 41 degrees blue sponge uh, later. It will be, it will go on Viscaria uh, with D05 on the back end. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to put another generous amount um, on this. So this will be the third layer of boosting. It will go down a bit hard. Make sure the brush is kind of fully compressed back and forth like this. And uh, yeah. And then wait at least. 12 to 24 hours, make sure this is completely dry uh, and the dome is not super much. Okay, I'm gonna shine a light, see everything is spread evenly, which it is. All right, so see you guys next day and I'm gonna show you the result of how dome this is. All right, so this has been like almost 12 hours. So this is pretty domed. So you can see this is pretty domed. I'm gonna wait for like another 12 hours before I put it on the racket. I'll put like one more layer of glue on this, and then two on the racket, and then glue it. So, alright, that's it. Thank you all for watching.